Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sanford Khan. I'm an economic consultant and business author. About two weeks ago, I did a video regarding how to sell call options on Facebook stock to boost your income and give you some downside protection. Reduce your risk, in other words. Not eliminate it, but reduce your risk. So let's move on. On that video, I said I'd look at a few other stocks to do. And today, let's look at Microsoft. The symbol, let me get my notes here. The symbol for Microsoft is MS, S is in Sam, FT. Uh, we're going to use closing prices as of Friday, October 2nd, rounded off to the nearest dollar. I don't want to deal with cents, so we'll round it off to the nearest dollar. And we're only going to look at call options. Uh, let me explain what call options are again, in case you didn't see the video on Facebook. A call option represents 100 shares by definition. A call option, when you sell a call option to somebody in the market, it gives them the right to buy your stock, in this case we're talking about Microsoft, at a certain price, it's called the strike price, within a certain time limit. And the time limits vary, as you can look it up on your brokerage account if you do online trading. And this is for people who do online trading. If you don't, if you don't do online trading, then this strategy probably wouldn't make any sense because uh, it's too cumbersome and the broker probably charges a commission that eats up the profit. So this is for those who do online trading, and especially if you have zero commission. Where I have my account, uh, it's not important the name of it. There is zero commission. The only commission or fee is that when you sell one call option representing 100 shares, in this case Microsoft, it's 65 cents. It's nothing. That's it. So uh, that's the type of uh, account you should have. Why pay them? You're doing all the work. You keep the money. Anyways, this is as of Friday, October 2nd, 2020. Microsoft finished today at uh, $206 a share. It was down $6. $206 a share, down $6 for the day. The 52-week low and high. The low in the last 52 weeks was $133 a share. The high was $233, so it went from $133 to $233, the high in the last 52 weeks, and it closed today at $206, about 17 points off its high. Now, what we're going to do here, well, let me back up just a little, okay? Only use this strategy if you feel it's suitable for you, and I can't tell you what's suitable for you. You have to make judgments, a judgment call what's suitable for you, okay? I'm just giving you some ideas. But I can tell you from my experience, when I got into this, uh, I didn't use these this strategy or these strategies right away, but I knew about them. So they weren't suitable for me when I first learned about them. But over time, they became suitable. So it's... To me, it's important you at least know about the strategy or strategies do exist. And maybe down the road, if it's not suitable now, you could use it. Now, in this case, Microsoft, but these could be used on other stocks too. So let's go to Microsoft. Uh, a disclaimer before I get into the various strategies. Uh, I do not own Microsoft stock. Not one share in, in either my uh, self-directed IRA account or my trading account. And I don't know if I did this uh, confessional when I was doing the Facebook example, but I'll do it now. I don't own Facebook stock either, uh, either in my self-directed IRA account or my uh, trading account. So I'm just giving you information. What you do with it is what you do with it. Now I'm going to do three strategies with calls. Don't forget, I finished at $206 a share. One calls for 100 shares. I don't know how many shares you own, but let's say you do own four, five, six hundred shares of Microsoft, something like that. I don't know. You may want to consider doing it on a hundred or two hundred shares, okay? Just to pull money out, to have income coming in, because Microsoft doesn't pay a large dividend. It's actually about one percent, I think, it pays. That's about all. It's nothing. At least it's better than some of the others that don't pay any. So you do get a little cash, but this will help boost your cash return and you can pull money out. The three strategies I'm going to give you examples of actual prices rounded to the nearest dollar is to assume 
well, you think Microsoft will still go up, so we'll do a strategy there. Um, you think Microsoft will stay relatively flat. What I mean flat in a narrow band, okay? And the last one, you think Microsoft could go down a little. So how could I protect myself? Again, this is up for you. You have to decide. I can't tell you what to do. I'm going to use December 18th calls. That's 77 days from now, from the date I'm doing this video. And uh, we'll go over examples, okay? So let's say you feel, let's go with the first strategy. You feel Microsoft could go up a little bit more, okay? And I want to pull some money out, but I want to give it room to go up, okay? So what you could do, you could sell a December 18th, 220 call. Don't forget, it finished at 206 today. That gives somebody the right to buy 100 shares, one call. They could buy 100 shares of Microsoft from you at $220 a share between now and uh, December 18th. That's when it expires, December 18th. So how much will you get for that right? For that right, that option, somebody will pay you the last trade. I looked at my account, how much it closed at. The last trade, it was $880 for 100 shares. You sell one call, give somebody the right as of today to buy your 100 shares of Microsoft from you between now and December 18th at $220, and they will deposit $880 into your account immediately. It's your money. You keep it. It's yours. What you do with it is what you do with it. You go on vacation, <laughs> go out for a nice dinner, uh, buy your wife or significant other some nice presents. <laughs> Anyways, it's your money to keep. Do what you want. So that feels if, if it goes up to 220 and above it, 220 and above, it will be called away. The $880, by the way, is, I'm not a tax expert, but the 880 is um, ordinary income you will be taxed on. It's your money. You get it immediately. Uh, if, uh, if you get 100 shares of Microsoft, gets called away at 220. Don't forget, you probably have a large capital gain. If it's a long-term capital gain, then you pay the long-term capital gain tax, which is much lower than the short term. Okay. Now you, you say to yourself, okay, next strategy. You feel Microsoft is going to stay relatively flat in a, in a sort of a narrow band, okay? It doesn't stay straight line. It's narrow band. Close at $206 a share. So let's say, okay, I'll give it a little breathing room on the upside, but not much. I'll sell a December 18th call on Microsoft with an exercise price, strike price, of $210. That's $4 above what are finished today. How much money will I get for that, selling that right for somebody to buy it from me for $210 between now and December 18th? You will get, last trade today, $1,280. We're not talking about pennies here, friends, for your 100 shares. $1,280. Oh, that's pretty good, isn't it? That's your money to keep. Again, if Microsoft goes above 210 stays above 210 come December 18th and is above 210 actually they could call away anytime it's above 210 they don't have to wait to December 18th but I'm just using December 18th uh, it'll be called away at $210 uh, a share don't forget it closed at 206 today so you do get some appreciation and you also get uh, $12.80 per share also additional depreciation appreciation because that's how much the option premium is you're getting per share twelve dollars and eighty cents times a hundred is one thousand two hundred eighty that's equivalent to let me uh, do high math here that's equivalent to about two hundred and twenty two dollars and eighty cents two hundred and twenty two dollars and it's like two hundred twenty three dollars you had twelve 12.8 uh, 12 to 210. That's 200, uh, $223 as equivalent price of the stock. So that's not bad. Again, that 1,280 is ordinary income, and whether you have a long term or short term capital gain depends how long you held the stock. Now you say to yourself, ah, I feel Microsoft could actually go down a little. Not a lot, but I feel it could go down a little. So I want to protect myself on the downside. Okay. 
very good. So what I'm going to do is sell a, uh, a December 18th call on Microsoft at $200 strike price. Don't forget it closed at 206. So I'm going to go at 200. Somebody's going to call it away at 200. It goes at 206. Now you think that's stupid? Well, no, 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 no. It's not stupid. You're protecting yourself. How much premium money, premium, will I get? Somebody will pay you for your 100 shares one th last trade today, $1,810. Per share, that's $18.10, let's say $18. You add 18 to 200, that's equivalent price of $218. They closed today at 206. So for that right to buy 100 shares from you between now, anytime between now and December 18th, again, it doesn't have to wait till. December 18th. It's any time between now and December 18th, including December 18th. They will pay you $1,810 in your account. That's your money to keep, period. Now, whether or not they exercise it, who knows? Uh, if Microsoft should stay above $200 a share, any time during that time period between now and December 18th, especially as we get to December 18th, yes, they will call it away and you will pay income taxes, regular income taxes, on $1,810. Don't forget, you're getting that money now up front in your account. And there's no withholding on that. So that's your money to use. You could buy other things, too, with it. And that's per 100 shares. So if you have 200 shares, just multiply it by 200. By, excuse me, by 2. That would be about $3,620. High math here, folks. My engineering skills are paying off. Uh... Anyways, they'll exercise it if it stays above $200 come December 18th. That's, that's the price you pay. Whether or not you have a long-term or short-term gain, it depends how long you held the stock. Anyways, these are strategies you can use on Microsoft. Again, I'll remind you, only use them if they're suitable for you, okay? If they're not suitable for you, at least you know they're here. And maybe down the road you could use them. I'm going to do another video or two on some more stocks. Um, I'm thinking about doing it on Tesla and maybe Google and maybe another one. But that's another week or two. Anyways, remember, for all of us, a secure future lies in economic growth. May you prosper. Take care now.